Hello, my name is Steve. I'm a gameplay programmer at Frictional Games, and in this video we're just going to go over setting up code lights so that you can get started playing around with scripts in Soma. It's going to be a fairly short video. We're pretty much just going to go over the uh, setup steps you can find on our wiki. So if you go to wiki.frictionalgames.com, search for code light and bring up this article how to get started. There's written instructions here as well, if you prefer, along with a link to uh, the latest code light release. Uh, there's also a community guide with pictures, which is also pretty nice to follow. I think that uses the latest version. So it's only going to be about six steps, and I'm using version 6.1.1. That's the version I've been using uh, throughout development. Your version may differ slightly, and menu settings might be in slightly different places, but for the most part, it should be pretty easy to follow along with. So I guess we get started. Okay, so the first thing we do is go to our settings, and we want to set up... Uh, the way code light behaves and we want to first find display and behavior and click keep function signature unformatted we want to tell code light where soma lives where our script files are so we head over to our soma directory scroll down find our script folder add that we then want to head over to the advanced tab and tell it to look for hps files with coloring Pretty much the defaults are okay, except you'll want enumerator enabled as well. And everything else here can really be you know, configured to your liking. So if you want more items in the completion box, put up to more, whichever you like. The next thing you'll want to do is go to colors and fonts and find C++ and also add in HPS here. So that's pretty much that for the basic settings. The next thing we're going to want to do is set up a workspace, which we'll do now. Okay, so on to creating our workspace. We want to go to File, New Workspace. And the important thing to keep in mind here is that your workspace lives on the same drive that Soma is installed on. It doesn't necessarily have to be inside the Soma folder, just as long as it's on the same drive. But I'm actually going to put it in a subfolder called underscore source, which I've created in the Soma directory and I will call it Soma Workspace. The next thing we'll want to do is create a new project by right-clicking on Soma Workspace and then choosing Others and Non-Code Project. And we can call this Soma Project. Again, this one can be called whatever you like. The next thing to do is right-click on your new project that's appeared and create a new virtual folder, underscore API. And then we're going to add a existing file. Again, head over to your Soma directory and you wanna find a file called HPS underscore API HPS. Now, if this file isn't here, you will need to run Soma at least once to generate it. And if it still isn't there, then open up your config file, which you'll find in My Documents, My Games, Soma, if you're on Windows. And just make sure that you have Generate Script API set to true inside the main tag. But for most of you, I, I think it should be there by default. So we add that. And then the next thing we want to do is import files from our directory. So browse again, find our Soma directory, select folder. You're going to want to definitely add the script folder because you'll want to see these files and you may as well add the maps from the game as well so that we've got something to play around with. Important thing here, make sure that star.hps is listed down here so we can actually read our files and then OK. Once this is done, we have all of our map files and all of our script files. So if we just open up any one really, let's open up area doorway trigger. As you can see, everything is nicely colored and laid out. So that's all good. And we're pretty much ready to start scripting now.